I'm going to practice just a little bit here for fifth graders about the D and the A string note part. If you're a violin player, your D and A string notes are going to take up two measures of music. And if you're a violin player or a viola player, you also have this bonus note E that you can play with your fourth finger. Again, I know that you can't fit more than four quarter notes in a measure, but there, just because I'm practiced writing my A and D string notes, I'm gonna write those five notes. Now some students may wanna have that label there to help them with their composition. If you're a viola player, I'm just gonna practice writing them over here. Your D and A string notes look like this. And as a viola player, you have to get used to writing ledger lines so you can get all the way up to your high E. Okay, now if you're a cello player, I'm gonna write them here. Here's, whoops, that's a funny looking clef. Let me try that again. <laughs> All right, so there's all of our notes for violin, for viola, and for cello bass. So let's get started with our first composition. Four measures with the ending guides, D and A string notes only. There's my ending guide for measure two, and there it is for measure one. Let's try starting our composition. I'm going to start it up high on the high D. And I'm going to go and D, A, B, A, with a little repeating pattern here. Remember the middle line rule, middle line notes and above, stem goes down. Below the middle line, the stem goes up. Fix that little note head there. Oh, by the way, make sure that when your note head's being written that it's not too big. You want it to be just in the space or just on the line and not so big that it'd be hard to tell what kind of note it is. D, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to use this as a repeating note here. I'm going to put a rest there. Boom, boom. Yeah, I like that. That'll be fun. Big leap there at the end. So you see here I chose to go down, and then I chose to go down by more than just a step. I took a leap. Then I went up by a step to balance out that big leap there with a small step here. Then I took a small skip and then a little repeating A here, and then a small scale down. Took a moment here. Now a big leap and a small step to my finish here. Let's test that composition. Well, that's interesting. I kind of like that. Let me try it with the bow. See if it works too. Well, that's got a nice ring to it. One more thing, fifth graders. I also wanted to give you another chance to do a composition where there's no guide notes, where you can decide what your notes are going to be for every single note of the measure. And then when we get here, I've added the option of using eighth, uh, sorry, eight measures with guide notes and eight measures without guide notes. For a fifth grader, I'd like you to at least try a composition at level one and bonus points if you try level two. For a fifth grader, I'd like to see this by the end of third quarter. Now, I want to start displaying them around our classrooms and, 
and share them uh, with, with other students. We want to have these pieces published, so to speak, in our schools because you are composers and I want to see what you can compose. So good luck with that, students, and thanks for your time.